Ah, the Pulse Carbine. You either use it, hate it, or you use it, but you still hate it. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, WindexTJ, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Pulse Carbine and the most efficient ways that I've been looking at that you could possibly use it, and ultimately just seeing if this weapon is as useful or useless as people are saying. So... Coming in in Halo Infinite, there's been some new additions to the weapon pool and the Pulse Carbine is among some of those new weapons. Because of how ineffective it is on the surface, a lot of people kind of just write it off and forget about it. But again, here we're going to talk about how ultimately effective or ineffective the Pulse Carbine actually is. So before we get into the Pulse Carbine and its nitty gritty details, I want to talk to you about the sort of base change that we see across pretty much all weapons in Halo Infinite. So with the introduction of Halo Infinite, we see them really dive into damage types for weapons. So these are things like hard light, plasma, kinetic, power, things like that. And each damage type has their own specific pros and cons. With the Pulse Carbine, the Pulse Carbine falls under the Plasma category, which more often than not, in terms of PvP, so Spartan on Spartan combat, when you have a Plasma weapon, it's supposed to do more damage to Spartan shields than pretty much any other weapon type, outside of like power weapons, because they're already like power weapons. So for example, uh, Pulse Carbine should do more shield damage faster than, say, in, say the AR or the Commando or the Battle Rifle. Theoretically, this is how you're supposed to use this weapon. Coming into some of the experiences that I've had and some of the things that I've seen in both pro-level play and amateur-level play, you definitely, if you do pick up the Pulse Carbine, it's definitely more of an opener and kind of getting those shields weak and then finishing them off with a kinetic weapon or a precision weapon pretty much i've kind of summed it up as to it being like a long range noob combo if that's even the right sort of phrasing to use and the only reason i say that is because the way the pulse carbine works is it shoots it is a burst projectile weapon i think it shoots out five it's a five round burst weapon and these bursts also track targets as well so it doesn't just shoot straight it'll shoot and kind of lock on to the nearest target. And it definitely works better within certain range. And um, you definitely don't really want to use the weapon too close range because it kind of gets a little ineffective there. This is definitely more of a long to medium, a long to medium range weapon to use. That way the tracking can be a little more efficient and effective for you. And also in my experience, this is kind of a weapon that you want to use. It works better on unsuspecting targets because it allows you to use the tracking better. If you're using it head up against someone in a fight already, it'll be easier them it'll be easier for them to dodge the oncoming burst, which will make the weapon harder for you to combo. So pretty much what I've seen is the go-to is pretty much two bursts or one full burst and their shield is down and you can finish them off with a sidekick headshot. I think it takes two two headshots for the sidekick to finish and one battle rifle and one commando shot for you to finish off a, a Spartan. But if you're trying to go for a full kill, which again, I would advise unless you have like a pulse, right, pulse carbine kill challenge or something like that, it takes about three or four full bursts to mount someone's. And um, that's assuming you hit pretty much every shot in the burst. So again, with the pulse carbine, I'd say it's best used as an opener. And if anything, an opener from range. So see you see someone cross map or you feel like someone's about to come across a corner or something like that, pull out the car, the pulse carbine, hit them with one, maybe two bursts from the pulse, then pull out a commando, sidekick, or battle rifle if you got it for a quick finish. Because in that case, you can drop kids a lot faster than they can AR you or battle rifle you. You'll have a pretty effective chance of gunning them down if you can pull that off just right. And it is pretty rewarding, I will say. But it definitely is very niche. And that's something that you'll see with a lot of these weapons in Halo Infinite. They are pretty niche, which makes them a, which makes them very ineffective slash useless and the capabilities where they can't do what they're supposed to be doing. So, again, if I were you, I'd stay away from trying to finish people off with the Pulse Carbine because it takes a lot longer to finish someone off with that versus a battle rifle or commander or a sidekick even. 
And when I say finish off, I mean like their shields are broken, they're one shot, they're blinking, they're all health. Using each weapon in Halo Infinite is vastly different from one another. Yes, they all have mostly the same goal, which is to bring down a target, but they all do it in different and effective ways. It's up to you to fully learn and utilize each weapon in the sandbox and learn their strengths and weaknesses because each weapon does have their own strengths and weaknesses, which sometimes will be better off than just using the standard loadout that you have. Using, using the environment and the weapon racks around you will always aid you if you know how to use the weapon. But it requires you to put in the time and put in the work to use a weapon. And I'm just here to help you do that as best as possible. So again, closing off tips with the pulse carbine here. I want to keep the video pretty short. Definitely use the, use the pulse carbine as an opener to get them shields down really quickly. One full burst, two burst should definitely do it at most and then switch off to whatever kinetic precision weapon you have, either the battle rifle, the commando, or the sidekick. I'd say those over the AR because you can definitely just drop a Spartan with one, two headshots max after you drop their shields, but that's the go-to combo. Avoid trying to finish off people with it because it's gonna take you a lot longer and it might be a lot more ineffective for you. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the Pulse Carbine so far? If you found the video helpful at all, please be sure to leave it a like as it lets you know I'm doing my job and help you guys out. And if you want more Halo Infinite content like this, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. It's been Boy Wine, DXTJ. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Spartans.